Man, is it going to be the running shoe company of the year? We will make our announcement here in a little bit. I should say here later in December. Good day, good day. Here we go into the studio. So we're having a little work done on the down here in the basement. So the doors have been open. So it's a little chilly down here, right? It's, kind of, it's, a, it's, a, it's a throwback to the old studio. So I'm wearing my puffy jacket. Hopefully the rustling isn't too bad, but I, I gotta stay warm down here. All right, here we go. Saucony, who remembers this vlog? Oh, I keep everything, everyone. All right, there it is. The Saucony Endorphin Speed 1, the inside. Open the shoe up, when was it? Maybe 18 months ago, roughly? So there it is, there's the nylon plate. And yes, we're gonna talk today about, so that was a 2020 shoe. We're gonna talk about the 2021 Saucony lineup with all of you today. Break it down, there they are, over on the shelf. What a year for Saucony, man. Is it gonna be the running shoe company of the year? We will make our announcement here in a little bit. I should say here later in December. But first, a little history on Saucony. What's a good example here? See this logo here? It's kind of like a wave. Looks like a creek, yes. So that represents a creek near where they were founded in Cutstown, Pennsylvania. Who out there lives near Cutstown, Pennsylvania? So these are three boulders, that literal boulders that were in this creek and they adapted that look for their logo. So it's one, two, three, and now these three boulders represent good performance, good health, and good community, okay? So that's kind of the pillars of the Saucony brand. I just love good history behind a brand. Let's dive into racing first, all right? Of course, let's go for it. Here we go, the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2. There it is, the premier marathon and half marathon racing shoe from Saucony in 2021. Love the shoe. Was it a huge jump forward for Saucony from the Endorphin Pro 1? I'm gonna say that it wasn't, okay? It was a good step forward, but maybe not an incredible step forward. It's gonna be, man, I am in excited for 2022 to see what they do with their uh, marathon racing lineup. So that's the Endorphin Pro 2. Now where everybody got really confused was the Endorphin Pro Plus. And let's turn on the scale right now. So there's the Pro 2, there's the Pro Plus, which was kind of like a soft release. I mean, not many people were able to get their hands on this shoe before it sold out. My biggest, I'll just say, drawback to the Endorphin Pro Plus, which is a, a, a well, let's do, let's put it on the scale. So here we go, in my size, 7.1 ounces for the Pro 2, and then the Pro Plus looking at 6.2. That's significant. However, the only challenge that I think Saucony is gonna have to work on for the Pro Plus is the lockdown around the ankle and just a little bit, they need a little more uniformity. They were going for kind of a little bit of like a track spike upper and it's fine, it's a good, it's a good attempt, but I don't know if I would wanna race 26 miles. See how it's even like kind of breaking down and collapsing there? So anyway, that's a little note on the Pro Plus, it, but a great upgrade Saucony as far as the weight. I mean, dropping an ounce, that puts it, that puts the Pro Plus in the same category as the Next% Percent 2 and the Metaspeed Edge from ASICS, okay? So, ooh, a battle heating up for 2022, but here we go, the Speed 2, okay? So this is the uh, next iteration from, hold on, hold, oh, did I grab it? Yes, I did. Um, so hold on, there it is. Here's the Speed, let me just make sure. Yeah, oh no, this is the Pro. Oh, maybe I did not grab it. Anyway, so here is the Speed 2, but what's an, again, Saucony, great job. Let's put this on the scale, all right? While I grab the Run Shield Speed, okay? So this is the waterproof version. I think it's gonna keep a lot of moisture out in your winter training. Not perfect, not like a really solid traditional Gore-Tex GTX option out there, like from Nike and the Pegasus lineup, but we're looking at 7.4 ounces in my side for, size for the Speed 2, and let's put the Run Shield option on. What did I say? Did I say 7.4? I believe I did. Let's just confirm. Yeah, 7.4. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this, everybody. 7.1. I don't know how Saucony did it, but I am actually, and the upper, I think is an improvement from the Speed 2. So if I had to buy one right now, I might lean in the direction of just buying the Run Shield, which it, it is a little more pricey, a little more expensive, but man, dropping in weight, and I thought the upper, not only was it more comfortable, but formed on top of my foot even 
better in the testing. Okay, so there you go. Saucony run speed run shield, run shield speed, speed run shield. There it is on your screen. Okay, let's move on real quick to the neutral options out there. I went, you know, so I tested the Kinvara 12. Sadly, I could not find it uh, just a minute ago, so I can't hold it for you in my hands. I enjoyed it. In fact, I'm putting it in the tweener category. All right, tweener alert, tweener alert. Daily trainer, uh, kind of an easy day shoe, but also light enough if you wanted to pick up the paces for a, a, a simple tempo day. Not a long tempo, like I wouldn't really go past five miles or, f yeah, really like five miles in the Kinvara 12 for a tempo day, but it absolutely could pick up the paces if you wanted it to. Not an incredible energy return through the midsole, but uh, definitely I'm, I'm putting it in the tweener category for 2021. So the Kinvara 12, we also have the Triumph 19. Oh, here's the easy day shoe for me. Heavy, oh man, very, I won't even put it on the scale. It's just heavy, but a perfect shoe for keeping your paces down on an easy day when you need to run slow. For me, that's like 8.30, 8 minute, 8.30 a mile. So pretty easy day type of shoe. Again, kind of heavy out there, but I actually really enjoyed it. Let's do a quick reminder on the durometer. Yeah, it's not like, it's, it's awesome. And, oh man. I mean, talk about great, I, I think the durability, I wonder what I gave, here, here it is. Here's my durability prediction for the Triumph 19. If I did not say at least 500 miles, I'd be shocked, but I bet I even said 600. Here it is, I don't even remember, but there it is on your screen. Oh, I think this shoe has a lot of, and this is, ooh, is this the 19? Uh, yes, this is, I believe it's the Saucony Triumph 19. Okay, moving on, lastly, Oh my goodness, I just reviewed this shoe and I think it's already up in the archive. The Axon, it is up in the archive. Ooh, my goodness. So the Saucony Axon, a $99 budget neutral trainer, but it kind of had uh, stability-esque. I just did the full uh, the relegation review a couple days ago. Had stability-esque uh, feel underfoot through that midsole. I wouldn't really buy it again, even though it is $99. It just, uh, it was kind of stiff and it had a little bit to be desired, the Saucony Accent. Now moving on to the stability, we've got the Guide 14, the Endorphin Shift 2, the Hurricane 23, which once again, it's up in the archive, and the Omni XX, which just fell on the ground here. If I had to choose one, now it is the most expensive out of all of them. I actually really enjoyed the Saucony Hurricane 23 for my favorite Saucony stability shoe of 2020. Well, I would buy it again. I really would. I remember not only does it offer stability, but also some good energy return. Oh my goodness. Most of, if I, most of the full review or relegation reviews will be linked down below or on that Saucony playlist. I will say, Socket, first of all, Saucony, thank you for sending all these shoes in 2021. Excited to test out your shoes in 2022. Trail shoes, uh, the Endorphin Speed Trail, Whew, it was a good, it was, oh, the outsole on the Endorphin Speed Trail was epic. But I think that midsole needs to evolve a little bit. I don't know, just, yeah, it felt, again, a little stiff out there, but that outsole was unbelievable. And then what was the other shoe? The, oh yeah, the Peregrine 11. Out of all the Saucony Trail shoes that if I had to go back and buy one right now, it would be the Mad River lineup. Either the one or the two, the Saucony Mad River. Love that shoe. Great draining. If you need draining, like if you live in an area that gets a lot of rain or you're crossing creeks, uh, look up the Saucony Mad River. Okay, there you go. Okay, best value shoe. It's got to be the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2 or if you can find the 1 especially, but also the Kinvara 12. All right. Obviously, like the reason, oh yeah, of course, big tweener alert, it is the Speed 2 because you can use it for workouts. You can use it for long runs. Actually, here it is on your screen, pairing shoes with your different types of runs. So you see the endorphin speed just showing up time and time and time again. And part of it is because of, where is it? That nylon plate inside the midsole, okay? It's nylon plate. It's not as stiff as the carbon fiber plates out there. So people enjoy that more so as far as not feeling as rigid underfoot, but still getting some good solid pushback and energy return through your 
gait cycle. All right, so there you go. Lots of goodness happening for the endorphin speed. Sorry, not, this is the Pro 2. See, they look so similar. You're tricking me. You're tricking me, Sockany. Here's the Speed 2 up above. This is the Pro 2. Look how similar those look. Let's do a little uh, deviation in the uh, colorway in 2022, Sockany. Okay, moving on. Here we go to my favorite shoe of 2021 from Sockany. Run Shield. That's right. This I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. It's lighter, and there you, now it's not the best value. Okay, that was the other ones, but the best, my favorite, was more so even than the Pro Two. Actually, the inside of the heel counter is better than the Pro Two. I felt more secure and a little more comfort. Uh, on the inside of the run shield upper, especially here at the back of the heel counter, okay? Oh man, it's the Power Run PB midsole. Oh man, thank you, Sogany, once again. We'll keep testing. Oh man, okay, comment of the day, question of the day. This is being pulled from last year's Saucony 2020 lineup. Beth, here we go, says, great vlog and content, one of my favorite shoe videos on the channel. You're welcome. Thank you for doing this, and I look forward to a similar video for New Balance. Question of the day, the Beacon V2 has been my favorite tweener shoe. It's lightweight and breathable and comfortable at a variety of paces and distances. Beth, thank you so much for the comment of the day. And yes, we're going to ask the same question. What has been your favorite tweener shoe? Okay, so a shoe that can accomplish many, I'll say three different runs in your training regimen. All right, we will toss it to last year's, actually, yeah, we'll toss it to last year's Saucony uh, 2020 shoe lineup right there, right there. Saucony 2020 lineup right there, right there, right there. All right, onward and upward. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.